hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math olympiad exponential equation problem so we have m to the power of m into n to the power of n equals 8 times of m to the power of n into n to the power of m so we solve this problem for the values of m and n so here the very first thing we are going to do is here uh, first uh, we move uh, all the terms involving m and n in the left hand side so that uh, we divide both of the sides by m to the power of n and n to the power of m so uh, we write it as m to the power of m into n to the power of n divided by m to the power of n into n to the power of m is equals to 8 times of m to the power of n into n to the power of m divided by m to the power of n into n to the power of m okay so now uh, you see here in the right hand side this term is cancelled out by this term this is cancelled out by this one uh, so now here in the left hand side uh, we uh, we just obtain here m to the power of m divided by we uh, we make these two fractions here m to the power of m divided by n to the power of m multiplied by n to the power of n divided by m to the power of n and this is equals to 8 okay so now you see here uh, the exponent on these two terms are same uh, so here we combine uh, the exponent of both of these terms because here we need an, a, a nice exponential law you know that if you have a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m it is equals to a over b and its whole power m and after that we have uh, an other exponential law so you know that if we have a over b and its whole power is m so if you uh, uh, reciprocal this base now it means that here you have a over b if we make the reciprocal of this base it will becomes b over a then its exponent will becomes negative okay so if you have a over b to the power of m this is equals to b over a and its exponent is minus m okay so here we need these two exponential law to solve the above equation so now first here we apply this law so according to this law our above, above equation is written as in this form so we have m over n to the power of m into n over m to the power of n okay so uh, this is equals to 8 and now we apply uh, the second exponential law so according to this law if you make the reciprocal of this space then its exponent becomes negative and we write it as m over n and its whole power m multiplied by m over n and its whole power is minus n and this is equals to 8 okay so uh, after that as you see on both of these terms and you see here bases on both of these terms are same so that we add its exponents uh, and these exponents are uh, after adding these exponents it will be written as m over n to the power of m minus n is equals to 8 okay so uh, now uh, uh, after that uh, now we focus on the right hand side and in the right hand side we have 8 so uh, here we make the prime factors of 8 and we know that uh, the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed okay so the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed and we write this as 2 over 1 and it's a whole cubed and in the left hand side we have m over n and its whole exponent is m minus n so now uh, by comparing uh, here i can just write that by comparing uh, on both of the sides you uh, compare the exponent with the exponent and you compare the base with base so uh, if we compare the exponents then we have m minus n equals to 3 and uh, if you compare 
uh, the basis then you get here m over n is equals to 2 okay so uh, here we get these two equations and now we solve these two equations and we easily get the values of m and n so we call this is equation number one and this is our equation number two so here first we copy down these two equations here and you write it as m minus n equals 3 and here we move this n to the right hand side and we get the value of m equals to 2n and we call this is our equation number 3. So here uh, we just need to substitute the value of uh, uh, m in the above equation. So when we substitute m equals to 2n here then uh, equation number 1 is implies that so uh, here we have 2n minus n is equals to 3 and this implies that uh, the value of n is equals to 3 okay this is the first value of n and now uh, in order to find the value of m here we need to uh, substitute this value of n in equation number 3 okay so when you put this value of n here then you easily get the value of m so that our equation number 3 is implies that m is equals to 2n and the value of n is equals to 3 so here you easily get the value of m is equals to 6 okay so we have uh, these two values uh, these are the values of m and n uh, are the required values and this is the final value or final answer of this question so now here uh, we need to check these values is these values of m and n satisfied our given question statement or not okay so in order to check these values here we need to copy down the given question statement and the given question statement is m to the power of m into n to the power of n equals to 8 times of m to the power of n and n to the power of m okay so that here uh, we need to substitute the values of uh, m and n uh, on both of the sides of this equation so that we have the value of m which we find above is 6 so you get 6 to the power of 6 and the value of n is 3 to the power of 3 equals to 8 times of uh, the value of m is 6 to the power of 3 and the value of n is 3 the value of m is 6 okay so uh, after that here uh, we uh, move the terms uh, uh, whose base 6 in the left hand side and the terms whose base 3 in the right hand side so we move this 6 to the power of 3 here it will be written as 6 to the power of 6 divided by 6 to the power of 3 equals to 8 multiplied by 3 to the power of 6 divided by 3 to the power of 3 here we move this this term in the right hand side and this term in the left hand side and now again you see here uh, bases are same so we move the the exponent in the denominator to the upside so you get 6 to the power of 6 minus 3 and here you have 8 into 3 to the power of 6 minus 3 so in the left hand side you uh, obtain 6 to the power of 3 equals to 8 into 3 to the power of 3 so we write this 6 as 2 multiplied by 3 and its exponent is 3 equals to 8 into 3 to the power of 3 so here we break this exponent and we write it as 2 to the power of 3 into 3 to the power of 3 equals to 8 into 3 to the power of 3. So we know that 2 to the power of 3 equals to 8. This is cancelled out by this one. And 3 to the power of 3 equals 27 and 3 to the power of 3 equals 27. So this shows that the value of m and n satisfies the given equation so we have m equals to 6 and n equals to 3 be the final solution of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos